uh, a couple advanced uh, surface techniques in Rhino 6 for Mac. Um, this one, uh, I'm going to talk about the drape command. So the drape command is useful for creating surfaces um, that have kind of a complex form uh, or want to preserve some information from solid objects underneath them. Um, the drape command is essentially like throwing a bed sheet over the top of whatever is underneath it. So right here I have this bust of Athena, which is a uh, mesh file, a .stl file that I downloaded from Thingiverse. Uh, it was created using a 3D scanner, so it has high resolution and uh, it was taken off of an actual marble uh, statue. So to use the drape command, I'm going to go uh, up here to the surface menu, come down to drape, and uh, the prompt is to drag a window over the area to drape. And we've got some other settings here. I'm going to leave those alone for now and just drag a window. Now you can see that um, the original object is not altered, um, but the drape command creates this NURBS surface uh, right over the top. And it is not perfect. It, you lose some information here from the original object. So if we turn off the mesh layer, um, you can see the surface that you're left with. Now this does capture uh, a decent amount of detail, but, um, but it's an approximation. Um, what's nice about this though is now it's a NURBS object, so you can turn on control points if you wish. And you could continue to edit these, uh, make uh, any kind of adjustments that you want. Uh, you could also join this to other uh, surfaces, create solids, and do any other kind of editing that you'd normally do. Uh, so that's the advantage of the drape command. Now you can also use uh, the drape command uh, with multiple objects underneath it, uh, which can be really helpful. So if you wanted to, say, uh, make some sort of draped surface over three of these bottles here, you could type in the drape command. And uh, before we drag a window over this one, um, we can go ahead and adjust some of these properties. So uh, you can always use auto spacing if you don't know what resolution you want your end surface to be. Um, but if you want more detail, yeah, you just increase the number of the U and the V uh, vertices here. So we're going to actually decrease this because we don't need as much detail on these bottles as we did on that bust. We go to 50. And then uh, if you uh, want to manually set the depth of your uh, drape, how far back into the um, viewport the surface is stretching, uh, you could manually set that at, and this is a number between 0 and 1, so it's kind of like a percentage number. I'm going to go ahead and leave that on auto because it seems to work better for me um, that way. So we're going to go like that. And uh, now you can see these three bottles have a draped surface um, pulling down underneath them. So we turn the bottle layer off, that's what you're left with. Uh, so you can see with the 50 uh, in the U and the V areas, we have less resolution. And you're actually starting to see some major distortions away from the bottle shape. Um, so if you didn't like that, you could go back and uh, increase the U and the V numbers. Um, if you wanted to you know, have this uh, drape only part way across the thinnest face, that's where you can manually set the uh, depth and, and achieve a different result there. That's the drape command.